Now it's time for me to give you a cocktail challenge. I know you like clarifications, so I'd like you to make a cocktail with clarified apple juice. I'm sure that with a little patience, you'll find a way to make it crystal clear and use it to make a delicious cocktail with it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Until then, cheers. <laughs> it took me seven months. I'm sorry, Kevin. I truly am, but I'm ready now. And I'm sure you're thinking, Jeff, after so long, your cocktail better be good, man. I think it is. So let's find out. If you guys are ready, today it's cocktail challenge time with Truffles on the Rocks. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this cocktail video. So it's been a very long while since my friend Kevin threw that challenge at me to make a cocktail using clarified apple juice. We're gonna do it today and we're gonna use a technique that we've never used on this channel before. So I hope you're gonna like it. If you guys are ready, let's make together the snappy spritz. Let's go. So first to make this cocktail, I decided to go with Roku Gin. I chose this one because of its floral and citrus notes. The sakura flowers and the yuzu makes of this gin a very bright, crisp and refreshing one that goes really well with the other ingredients that I chose for the cocktail today. Speaking of which, we're also gonna need green chartreuse, a homemade clarified apple and snappy cordial, and we're gonna top it up with soda water. For the cordial, we're gonna need granny smith apples, sugar snap peas, citric and malic acid, granulated sugar, and the magic ingredient, Pectinex. Here's what I understand about Pectinex. It is an enzyme that breaks pectin in fruits, vegetables, or plants. And pectin is what makes a juice cloudy or hazy because it is part of what's solid in a juice. So by allowing to separate the solids from the liquid, you get a clarified juice slightly different in taste. Because in the pectin, you get the tannins, and by removing them, you get a smoother juice. So here's what you're gonna need to make the clarified cordial. First, you're gonna peel and weight 500 grams of Granny Smith apples. You're gonna place that into a blender and you're gonna add 220 grams of sugar snap peas. Then you're gonna blend until pureed and filter it through a nut milk bag. Then you're gonna weight your juice because you need to add the pectin X in a very small amount in a very small percentage. So we're gonna add 0.25% by weight of pectin X. So for example, for 655 grams of juice, we're gonna add 1.75 grams of pectin X. Then we're gonna blend that again for about one minute, and we're gonna let that sit for about 45 minutes. It's gonna start to separate, and once the process has already started, like you see here, we can filter it through a coffee filter. It's gonna slowly drip into a beautiful, clear apple and snappy juice. Once you have your clarified juice, we're gonna transform that into a cordial. So for every 125 grams of juice, we're gonna add 35 grams of sugar, three grams of malic acid, and one gram of citric acid. Then you're gonna stir until everything is dissolved. You're gonna bottle it up and you can store that in the fridge and keep it for up to four weeks. And this is it guys, this is how we make the clarified apple and sugar snappy cordial. So now we are ready to make the cocktail. It is very straightforward. You will see we're gonna build it right into a glass that we're gonna fill with ice first. And then we're gonna add two ounces or 60 ml of Roku gin. We're gonna follow that with quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of green chartreuse. And three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of our clarified cordial. Then we're gonna top it up with soda water With a spoon, we're gonna stir a little bit to incorporate all the ingredients. And 
And we're gonna garnish with a little mint sprig and an open sugar snap pea. Just like that. And this, my friends, is how we make the snappy spritz. Let's give it a try. It is, in my opinion, a delicious summer cocktail. It is very refreshing with beautiful herbal and vegetal notes with a hint of fruitiness. I think it fulfills the challenge. It is clear, it is apple flavored. I really love it and I hope you're gonna love it too. By the way, guys, if you try the Cordial at home, I've already tried it out with different recipes. One with rye whiskey, one with pisco and rum. Both were really good. I'm gonna write them down in the comments or the description down below. I think it's a good option for you to have different recipes to play with if you make a larger batch of the Cordial. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Hmm. My friend Kevin, it is my turn to challenge you back. This was supposed to be a clarification challenge. So I would like to challenge you to make any cocktail clarified with yogurt. Good luck. Cheers.